Shook it up. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear mommy. Happy birthday to you. So today I turn 37. I'm starting today, as you always should on your birthday, with coffee and a massive box of chocolates. Welcome to my birthday. So on Saturday night, just gone, my friend Danny and with a little bit of help from Lex threw me a surprise birthday meal. So my birthday has already begun and it was just, it was such a massive surprise. I wasn't expecting, I thought me and Danny were just going out for food. And then there was a number of my friends and family there and we ate yummy food and had cocktails and had just a really lovely evening. So thank you, Danny, for spoiling me and giving me my first ever surprise birthday. Today, I have a lot of little gifts that um, I just opened this from the lovely girls, uh, Michelle and Steph from Green and Pink, gave me this beautiful necklace, which I kind of love, because I have earrings to match that already. And yeah, I've got a few cards already opened. The biggest one is from The Hubs, Alex, to the one I love definitely loves me and um, he's just upstairs getting ready we're gonna go out for a birthday breakfast to one of my favorite places in Shrewsbury for breakfast which is Seasons and then I'm probably gonna gym because I didn't go yesterday and who knows we might go out for food later for dinner again and some cocktails Yay. birthday breakfast about the remnants with the legs yeah, coffee, and it has a heart because I love coffee. Today is Wednesday, it is the 17th of April, it's a week since my birthday. I barely vlogged because I was too busy celebrating and having a good day. So today I'm on college and coffee and a party ring because I'm all about the health. And I'm in regular clothes. This t-shirt is from Nasty Gal. If you have not discovered Nasty Gal, they're so good because they do like 50% off everything sales like once a week so this t-shirt was like six quid and um, today I'm going into Shrewsbury to meet with my lovely friend Meg who is going to bring my tattoo a little bit more to life so Lisa obviously has done all the work tattoo Lisa has done all the groundwork on this tattoo but Lisa lives up north so I found Meg and um, she's going to help me out and bring my flowers to life. Well Lex is away in Ireland going to my home country without me. Um, he's over doing some stuff with SBG and um, I'm on my own this week until he comes back and then he goes to LA next week so he's in and out. He's like a weekend lodger at the moment but I'm trying to be productive by the way so I'm up early I'm gonna walk to Pooches now before I go and get tattooed I'm in from getting tattooed and it is after 3 30 p.m. I have proper panda eyes from doing this when it got sore but I didn't add anything to my tattoo. I'm just working on building it up and make it more lifelike, bring more color into it. But I haven't eaten yet, so I'm feeling a bit, ooh. I've had a coffee and I'm about to have some oats. So I think these will hit the spot. I'm doing my products. So 
I've added my water, my oats, now I'm adding my egg whites and sorry if this is making you a bit motion sick but I'm going to add in my egg whites now get these ones and I just freeze them because you can just defrost them and use them like normal uh, it's great because I just keep loads of them in the freezer so I'm never short so I add 50 grams of my egg whites then I put it back in the microwave and microwave it at 30 second intervals and then I'll add some protein powder and top it with mm, some chocolate because I'm in the mood for some chocolate I'm in the mood for something sweet so usually my breakfast is either sweet or savoury today I've opted for sweet if it's savoury I'll usually go for eggs some bacon but yeah that's my morning I spent the morning being tattooed food time so here is a breakfast, we've got some chocolate chips, I've got some sugar-free uh, fibre syrup from Sucrin, that's my favourite sugar-free syrup. And they all melt on top and yummy! So as I've just gotten tattooed for four hours, it's a bit of a trauma to your body. So I've already trained twice this week and I'll probably train two or three more days. Today's Wednesday, so I'm going to take a rest day today because Again, it's, it's a trauma to your body. It doesn't matter where it is. If you get tattooed for a number of hours, yeah, there's a lot of adrenaline going through your body and you may need to eat a little bit more that day. You may feel a bit woozy, but um, if it's a small tattoo in an area that isn't going to affect your training, just go train. Or as I said, if it takes a long time, a lot of work goes into it, regardless of where it is. Like this isn't going to impact a leg workout, but, I'm feeling, yeah, a little bit lacklustre right now because it takes a lot out of you, physically. So take a rest day, if you can. Good morning, guys. Today is Friday the 19th of April. Today I make a pre, I'm in a hat, and my weight is been gradually dropping. I'm really happy with the progress I'm making on my current little mini cut for Ibiza, which is about six weeks away. And I am down to 118 and a half pounds. So good progress there. I've just been very consistent. My diet has remained the same. Um, I haven't really been doing cardio, but I've been going to the gym quite regularly, trying to get in good wholesome food interspersed with a lot of coffee. So today um, it's kind of like my extra workout as I like to call it. So I'm going to do a HIIT workout and some ab training and I'm going to record it now for you guys. I know this video has been a bit up and down and all over the place because I've just been kind of filming where I felt comfortable in myself filming which I don't want to put myself under pressure to create content when I'm not feeling the best or when I don't feel it's of benefit to you, but this workout will be of benefit to you. I hope you enjoy it.
as if I only had a hundred fans I take them all to dinner Talk about the people that we used to be If I had a hundred fans Buying all the parents Ain't nobody paying I'll be buying the drinks And we would party And we would dance And we would throw up All them hands Until they turned to crowd Yeah, I got you now If I only had a hundred fans Life's too short to be an asshole